Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with video review of Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Predaking. The Predacon. Also known as the Predacon. So, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, this showed up in uh, Transformers Prime Season 3 Beast Hunters as the first and so far only Predacon. Predaking. And it's a genetically grown in a lab Predacon by Shockwave. Something like that. Anyway, it's decent. Useful in the plot. I like it. This is a decent figure. I think it's actually pretty good. Um, I picked it up today. Um, I wasn't originally going to get it because it is a Beast Former and I don't like Beast Formers. I make very few exceptions. This one, it was in the show. And, come on. I, I And, <laughs> top it off, I got a comment yesterday. Somebody was looking at pictures of my collection. And they said, you know, you're not a real nerd unless you have a dragon somewhere in your room. So, when I saw this and Shockwave, I was going to pick up Shockwave anyway. Uh, I looked at this guy and I'm like, you know, he's right. I... Every nerd needs a dragon. So, I bought this dragon. <laughs> and you know what? It works. I like it. Robot dragon. It <laughs> so yeah, I, I took a picture, posted it to Facebook, yada yada yada. Anyway, it's fun. I like it. It's decent. I think, I think the more expensive version, like the uh, Ultimate or whatever they're calling it, version will be better. But, in all fairness, this... $20 one works well. And for what it, for what it is, it it's nice. Um, he it doesn't have a robot mode in the show yet. I'm not sure if they'll ever reveal a robot mode for him or not. Anyway, he does have one, which is cool. I'll show that show that off in the transformation soon. Uh, as far as alternate mode here, the dragon mode, he does these wings scare me. As far as this is literally just a friction peg, and it scares me that these are going to break so easy. Uh, these are just going to lose the strength in them so fast that it's unbelievable. That, that, that I mean, this, this joint, not as much. That's a pin. But this is just one of those friction things, and I've had these before, and they lose strength. I can already feel this one weakening. I just tap it, and it goes down. This one, eh, it's got some more give to it. Uh, a little bit more sturdy. Uh, so I think I might be applying some super glue to uh, add more friction in there. Just because that's making me nervous. Anyway, what's cool is it does have two points of articulation on the wings, which is nice. I just wish that second one was pin. And I realized they did that because, you know, this is meant for a kid to play with. The kid's going to drop it. These wings, if this was a pin, this is going to shatter. But since this has given it, it's this is going to pop out first, which is, I'm sure, what they were going for, which it works in that aspect, but... Oh man, they just make me nervous. Overall, I'm actually quite impressed with this figure. Um, yeah, I, I there's some issues with it, and I'll get into those. Uh, this is his extra heads slash missile launchers. You pull back, the way they link together here is like a peg, and if you look inside, there's a gear system where the opposite gear fits inside. And when you pull it down on one lever, they both move. And the missiles fire with decent velocity. Compared to uh, Primes, for example. So, those are nice. And uh, I love this feature. The jaw and the uh, top of the head, the jaws, are actually spring-loaded. So when these fire, these will close a bit. So when they're in there, that's open. 
Now, the only downside of this is I wish, like on the back of the package on Optimus Prime and this one, that they retain the translucency on the flames here. These were yellow. And, you know, I know they changed things from the prototypes. I get that. But um, I kind of wish they kept this one. I like it. I liked it. Anyway, so these here can actually clip on the shoulders of the dragon and add other heads. And this is vaguely reminiscent of Scourge from the Transformers Cybertron line, where he had the cyber key and the heads flip forward and launch missiles. That's pretty much what this is. It's almost the same gimmick, except these don't fold back into them. They're kind of just there or not there. Personally, eh, they're okay. If you want a three-headed Hydra Dragon, fine. And if not, fine. Um, he can shoot missiles out of his mouth. Kill an Autobot over here. Kill an Autobot over there. You know, something like that. It, it's fun. I like it. It's not great. Um, yeah. So, taking these back off. You can also use these as handguns for whatever reason. But, anyway. Those are cool. I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. So, I'll get into the transformation now. I mean, the transformation's pretty uh, awesome. And it's kind of creative. So, I like it. Uh, just get the wings out of the way. Here. Uh, just kind of rotate these out of the way, too. Uh, so you want to start by flipping these panels up and pulling this right apart. Which, the transformation is not anything like I expected. It's amazing. It's not as symmetrical as it appears, which is awesome. But yet, it still, still yields um, symmetrical in the end, in both ways. So it's cool. So this leg, you want to flip down, flip this back, flip this in, and this pegs into a hole in the back of the leg. Like this, and this becomes the heel. It's, it's a harder, rubbery, plastic, but it's harder. It's not as soft as previous Transformers. Let's get this up out of the way for now. Sorry about that. I was gone for a minute. Not about a, you know, it's less than a half a second for you, but anyway, I was in here with the foot. So on the other side, we rotate this around. These are actually not mirror images, which is kind of cool from an engineering standpoint, but I can see where it's aggravating for others. So this, quite literally like the other side, plugs in here. So these two legs, this one and this one, are actually reverse opposite. Here's the front of the leg on this one, and here's the back of the leg on this one. It's kind of cool. I like how they did it. When I was first unfolding this, I'm like, uh-oh, did they misassemble this? But um, no, it was, it was cool. I like it. From an engineering standpoint, I think that's pretty cool. Right, so... Now, we want to come back here, rotate this, and pull the sword out. Then, bring the wings down and out, kind of out of the way. They flop around in this. Uh, so you pull the chest plate open. I'll try to get this as balanced. Adjust this a bit. Flip this up and around. And then, when you go to close the chest, this plugs into the chest plate somewhere, like there. And then the head, you just kind of fold up and set there. The tail kind of just is there. Actually, I wonder, this can rotate, so I uh, can assume, oops, knock this off. Just, tr again, experimenting with this. Um, so I guess you could probably store it like this if you don't like the uh, 
head like right here. Um, but the instructions do say to have the head just sit here. It looks the same either way, I guess. And this unpegged, which is irritating. Alright, so. And the wings back here. You want to flip these things on his shoulders up. Spikes. Um, not things. Then you fold the claws down. Rotate them. And... You have them in robot mode. And to be honest, I really dig this. For whatever the reason, I really like this mold in robot mode. It's awesome. So, basically the wings in this, the way it's designed, kind of hang down here, which, you know, it's kind of lame where they are. But if you angle these up just slightly, it kind of gives the appearance that his wings are a bit higher. Even though they're not. I kind of wish there was another rotation in here so you could have these go up and they're like sticking out up here. Which would be better in my opinion. Which the uh, more expensive version might have. I just probably won't get it. Because Prime is not my focus in my collection. Anyway, so now we have this new accessory, the tail sword. And this literally slides in to this r soft plastic claw hand. And not very well, I might add. Then you kind of close the hand a bit, but the way the other portion of the hand puts, applies pressure doesn't actually help keep it in the hand at all actually and in fact almost hinders it <laughs> and it's just I don't love the sword at all I mean I'm tempted to use shapeways and come up with my own version of the sword that fits in his hand better that you know plugs into the wrist here speaking to the wrist plugs that's where these come in they clip in here and see it's molded perfectly for the hand or the claw. So you have dragon launcher missiles. Yeah, okay. Not my favorite selection of weapons. This guy's not nearly as awesome as Optimus Prime, but he's not bad. I was impressed with this guy. I was expecting a piece of junk and what I got was pretty cool. So, I'm happy with it. So, as far as motion goes, he's got a little movement in the foot due to the transformation. He's got a knee that doesn't quite go 90 degrees. Swivel above each knee. Hinge. And a ratchet joint. He does have a waist swivel, but this is the way the tail is it's hard to uh, get it around there. He's, his head is on a ball and socket joint, or sorry, I am wrong with that. It's on a swivel and a hinge. Uh, most of his head is actually a uh, rubbery plastic, so the spikes are safe. Um, his arm, hinge, hinge, swivel, hin really tight hinged elbows, which is nice. Ball and sock joint swivel for the wrist, and of course, each part of the claw is on a hinge as well. Really? And then these knee plates are also on a swivel. So, you can kind of, or not a swivel, a hinge. So you can position them, move them, whatever, which way you like them. Have them all the way up, have them all the way down, halfway, whatever. Your option. The wings rotate here, and at both places I showed you in rope and alternate mode, dragon mode. So, I absolutely love this figure. I think it's cool. Not necessarily my favorite, but not my least favorite either. 
So, yeah. He's got this nice, cool little Predaking Con symbol here that looks like him in uh, Dragon Mode, I guess. Which is cool. No, it's nice. So, it's decent size. Uh, compared to Megatron, he's actually much smaller than Show Model. So, the more expensive version will be more in scale with the Voyager. Which is funny because they're also making this enormous Optimus Prime. So, eh. I don't know. I think the scale in the show is severely messed up. So, things don't look the correct size they should. And then when they go to practically make the toys, yeah, the scale just gets further messed up. Anyway, uh, this guy should be much larger, and, you know, I haven't completely ruled it out getting the more expensive version, but at the same time, this one's adequate enough. I probably won't get the more expensive version. I'll probably stick with this one. Now, I have them, so I probably don't... I'm not going to spend more money on them. Well, there he is with Megatron. And lastly, here he is next to the new Optimus Prime. So, Optimus is bigger. He's about the same height as Megatron, head-to-head. -head. I always measure my stuff head-to-head. -head. Wings and extras don't really count. So, he's a bit taller than... He's about the same height as Megatron. Which is neat. And actually, if you look at it closely, he kind of has the appearance of Megatron with the way his legs are huge and his shoulders are spiky. So, I could actually see throwing this guy's head on this guy's shoulders and painting him up like it, and I could see Megatron. But, that's just me. Well, that's all I have to say about this guy. So, if you have any questions, please leave a message down below or send me a PM. And I will be glad to answer those questions for you. Um, yes, pretty sure that's it. If you have any requests for video reviews, please also post down below or send me a message. And I will attempt to do those for you. I'm a bit busy as it is. Um, yep, so that concludes my video review. Thanks for watching.